Representative Montenegro and I came in seven years ago into this great state, into the legislature. Our budget was the worst in the nation by percentage, not by dollars. I think California did have us beat it by the dollars, but that's because their economy is much larger. But by percentage, we had the worst. So to come from the worst in 2009 when we took office to a structurally balanced budget next year is amazing and a great legacy for us to have all these representatives in here that, that are from Arizona have to give back to our citizens. And how do we do that? Well, remember I talked about deregulation, and there's a few bills that, that we did, and I gotta have my little reader here. Well, uh, one is the Apple bill. Now we're stealing from California again here. We got, we got Apple coming in from the Bay Area. <laughs> and the iCloud. So everybody knows what the cloud is. They're, they're going to be opening up right here in Arizona, over in the east side in Mesa. And their projections are going to be larger, I just heard today, than what they thought they were going to infuse here into the state. We were thinking $2 billion they were going to put in the state here, invest in over 10 years. It looks like about $2.2 billion in the next five years already. And we were looking at 150 Apple jobs. Well, looks like it could be upwards to 500 Apple jobs here. Definitely 300, they have stated. So it is a 30-year project as well. So think of that, five, $2 billion in five years, over 30 years, you add those numbers up. Uh, they're gonna be helping this state pretty well, which is a great thing for us to have. And we're the first footprint outside of California uh, that they've done in America in the investment that they're doing. So we're very proud to have that. And the reason why is because our environment here that we love to do business with businesses. We love deregulating, we love taking taxes away. And Apple stated that they love to work with this government, who we are, and the legislature and the governor, because we work at the speed of business. They said, we're the first ones to work at the speed of business for them. So it's a, a tremendous privilege to have and honor of that. And that's what we're going to continue to do. We do crowdfunding here as well. That's helping us out. And it's all local with the crowdfunding. So that means your investors have to be from Arizona, investing in Arizona business. And so that's a good thing to look at your different states for, uh, to help out with that. Um, a great one we've done, maybe you guys want to take home, it's not on the business side, but it is a civic side, it was the, the um, majority leader's bill, and we put it into effect where to graduate from high school, you have to pass your civics test, and it's, it's not a high stakes test, because you have to get 60 questions out of 100 that a uh, uh, naturalized citizen has to take to become a citizen of the U.S. So, who's the first president? I mean, we all know that, right? So you have to know these things. You have to know what your government is, who you're voting for. You have to understand those because my degree is education social studies, just so everybody knows. Why do we have public schools? A lot of people would say so we can get a job later, right? Well, when we had public schools, that was during the founding days. And the reason why we put public schools together wasn't to get a job because you were already in agriculture or you had a trade, period. That's what your family did did that so we knew where we came from and we didn't return to a monarchy or a dictatorship. And that's the purpose and it's a great bill. If you guys want to look into that, let us know.